Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, if you didn't make the stream that I I decided to do on Monday, uh, you didn't miss much. I was trying to get the pinball table working, and needless to say, it's not going to happen. Uh, a couple of issues we've had. Uh, one, I was having trouble getting the ball to launch as high as, you know, enough to be able to get a fair distance. And it seems to be stopping about 20 meters up or so. Uh, that was just using a powered rotor. I have tried, as you can see, using my favorite tool, the, the good old hover pad. And even at a speed like this, that's with this turning and these two hover pads pushing against each other, it still doesn't want to create enough force. Uh, I can give you a quick demonstration here. Go into this, and I knew I blueprinted these things for a reason. No, it's just so much easier than having to build them. Yeah, I got one there. So then I can just drop this right in the bucket, just like so. It takes a few seconds to build. Now, it looks like it should work, but it doesn't seem to go high enough. And there's other other minor issues, too. Well, or uh, one other minor issue that was an issue before and probably will always be an issue. So as you can see, it goes up. That's about as high as it goes. Now don't get me wrong, I don't find a use for that, I always do. Uh, but another issue I've had was, I uh, should have enough plates in here, or frames anyways, yes I do, is we had the issue last time where you can actually see the grid and the ball would get stuck, and I saw that on the, the big marble maze and uh, the canonized bowling I was trying to do, or stuff wasn't rolling down the ramps properly. If you watch, you'll actually see that it has like flat spots. It's got sort of like a bounce to it. And that stops from rolling properly. So needless to say, I am going to have to let this one go. I do have other ideas I want to start working on using these and different kind of things, but we'll get into that later. Uh, now, since I, since I do have about half a container, well, I can't really see that, but i got about half a container full of stuff here. A whole bunch of plates and frames and mechanical parts and stuff like that I was actually going to use to build this thing. And needless to say, it didn't work. But that just means it's time to start working on a project I've been talking about. And that start working on uh, what I'm going to call the what is it, building construct platform. And that's going to be this this facility, recycling facility that goes around and go, and go around the go around the globe and start picking up all these derelicts and wrecks and stuff like that we'll either re repurpose them or we'll you know unique builds I plan on taking them with us and that was a viewer that sh had uh, mentioned about having oh what was it uh, Haberjack I actually want to try something here since we are here it's been a long time since I've used this thing because now we can actually place it on, on grids, like so. But just for the, the sake of curiosity, I want to see if I can actually blueprint a ball on this thing. So is this thing on? It is on. Okay, we'll do that. I'm going to do it just for, the, just for the sake of it. Uh, I also want to try to do something too. Actually, we can try that here. Let's uh, see what happens there. Close enough. Let's see what happens. But I have an idea that might actually come in handy with this project if this will work. Uh, is it going to be functional? Hey, it did work. Unfortunately, it's a hover jack, so it's kind of kind of iffy. But now, the question I have, we'll actually leave that there. I gotta. I'm gonna, Take everything apart and bring it with us, well, with me, because you know, iron's an issue. Always is. Where was it? There it is. I want to see if we could do it this way. Okay, I know we could do it that. Do that. Go back to the replicator. Print another ball. Oh, uh, let's see. I should be able to access the menu. I can. I like. I love that. Now, I want to see if it's going to work down. Because if that's the case, then we have ourselves a crane. But 
but it goes up. Interesting. Doesn't like it though. Stir in the nest here. Huh. Cool. We have a magnet. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's making this this idea really good. So uh, let me clean up and I'll let me pick up my balls and I'll be back at home. And here we are. Now, just fortunate I have a nice clear area to here to work with. That was not intentional, but just happened to be so. So let me open up those claws, look over the container. And then we'll just go and land this thing down here somewhere and just get out of the way. Because I'm not going to need it. Not now, anyways. Uh, did I power this? No, I did not. No, I didn't. I'm going to try to get in the habit of doing that. If I put a terminal on something, I'll use Y as a power key. Because that seems to be a universal thing. So I'll just change that to Y for toggle. Eh, I was going to warn about the rain. Yeah. What do you know? But anyways, I've been thinking about uh, my design. Uh, ideally, I would like to use small air blades. But with the amount of small air blades I might need and the resources required to make them, that's not happening. So I am going to make use large air blades, but I have to design this a little bit differently because of a couple of the features I want to incorporate. One of them just happens to be uh, a water mining pump because it's going to be deuterium powered. So it should be able to grab its own water and yeah, have a couple, maybe a couple of those on there and make its own deuterium. It's going to have solar, of course, and battery packs and all that stuff. But uh, I was thinking about like weight and size and stuff like that, and I was Originally, I was thinking about trying to go with railings all the time, but the transition from the railing to the block when you're walking or driving, for instance, it's really noticeable. So we're just going to go ahead with the ceiling tiles like, like I always do. And I just want to make sure I have a good enough spot here, enough room to build this thing because it's not going to be small. Well, it's not going to be huge, but it's not going to be tiny, that's for sure. Uh, let's do it this way so I can actually get a better idea because the last thing you want to be doing is taking out trees at the last moment. Alright, so now it's going to be ceiling tiles all the way, as far as the color goes. It's gonna, technically, it's going to be a junkyard, so I guess we'll go with the nice old rusty brown here. And it is going to be a... Okay, I thought I was having problems there. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit to get this done, so I'll bring you back when i got a nice base foundation set up. And there we go. And then there's there's that feeling of overdoing it again. It feels good. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a little bigger than I was expecting. I might even trim, trim a little bit off. I'm thinking maybe take these two rows off here. Uh, I might as well give you a, let you know what my plan is. Uh, what it's going to be is, like I said, there's going to be, let me get up in the area here so I can sh explain a little more. Uh, it's going to be basically three areas. It's going to be a main building here where there's going to be some storage and a couple of main containers and all that stuff and it's going to be basically like I said recycling people. We're going to go around and pick up all these wrecks and dismantle them and use the plates and frames and mechanical parts and glass and everything we find to build all these to fuel the series So be just because you know I can't do that anymore. Uh, keep the miners running 24-7 and just constantly put, put, make plates and frames. Uh, I know I could have changed it when I started the world, but as far as I know, I cannot actually change it now unless I start editing the JSON file, and I don't want to go there. <laughs> no. Uh, but that, it just, you know, it's what Planet Nomad is all about, is find, finding things to do and taking the challenges on. So this is what I've got. So yeah, there's going to be a main building here. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to be the front here, maybe on this side here. Uh, I'm going to be using the, the hover jack as sort of like a, like, a, like four or six of them set up. So whenever we find like these these unique builds, these smaller builds anyways, we'll, we can bring them up here. I'm going to design, I've got a crane idea designed. Uh, using that hover jack over at the other area there gave me a great idea for it. And uh, 
Uh, it's going to be using the rotors and the new key bindings, which is going to be an interesting one. It's going to be, like I said, deuterium powered, so it's going to have a drop down miner similar to what Skylab had. Unfortunately, unlike Skylab, this one will not freak out on us. And then I'm going to have uh, other areas for, like, when I come across these, like, one off parts that we can't actually make, like the thrusters and the, the tanks and stuff like that. I want to have a place where I can actually pl put them so I can use them in builds. So that, that being said, uh, I do get to get some fencing around here. Uh, I was a little worried about my resources, but I think I'm going to be okay. Like, I got I got enough, I think, to get this done. So, uh, uh, yeah, let me get some fencing around and see if I can get a better idea where I'm going to have the, the main building. Uh, as far as flight goes, I was going to go with small air, air blades on the sides, but that's not going to be resourceful enough. So go with large air blades but they're going to be higher up and they're going to be probably oh i don't know probably somewhere around here just above the building so in that way the crane has room to work so the crane's going to swing out and it's going to be able to drop down and pick up wrecks that i dig out of the ground pick them up and i can drop them right down on the on the display stands we'll call it for instance but yeah so let me get this done and i'll be right back Okay, so I got it all figured out here. So I got the railings going around. Sun's coming up. The uh, range should be on its way anytime now, as per usual. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead with the, these walls here. Because I never actually use these things. Uh, what I've done too is I've done the railings in this color just to try to get like a chain link fence kind of kind of deal. Uh, as far as the shed goes, hmm. Make it orange. You can always change color later. Now, I don't want to put right at the back wall. I'm actually thinking about putting um, the generators in the back. So, I think we might start there. Actually, I want to start on the outside of this. Uh, originally, it was going to be a 6x6, six six, but I think... Or, yeah, 6x6, six six, but I think that might be too big. I want to make sure I have enough room for the, the hover, pet, hover jacks here. Let's actually place them down, just get an idea. And I think I'm going to go with four of them. Uh, it's still upside down. Uh, do them red, just because. So I've got that there. Let's get the light on so I can see a little bit better until the sun comes up and the rain goes away. See what I mean about the rain? And I remember someone was commenting on like the first or second video. Oh, how come it never rains in your world? Oh, believe me, it rains. So place one there, and I want to keep the crane on the inside. So maybe we'll do something like that. And then we'll come up here, and then we'll do... Yeah, I guess we do one here and one here. You know, just for small stuff. And this will give you an idea of where I'm going to be placing things. So, what was I going to do for the red again? Oh yeah, we were doing orange on the, on the shack. Let's... Just because I'm going to be changing color back and forth all the time, let's get this done. That actually looks good with the orange. I don't think I've ever colored these things before. Okay, so, nope, that's a wasted battery right there. Anyway, so yeah, it's gonna come out to here probably, you know, it's not gonna be big. I might actually try to, I probably should've got one more than that. Well, yeah, you know, you know what, we'll go one back. I'm sorry, we'll go back one more. We'll place a short inner wall here. Uh, that's going the other way, isn't it? What is going on here? Oh, come on, who built this? Somebody drunk behind the wheel or something? I know, it was me. I don't know how that happened. Professional builder here. Now, where do I want the red? Where is that? The red, the orange. Let's put the stripe on the bottom, maybe. At least uh, you, you won't see that orange accent as well. That's actually the right way. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's going to be about to there. And then we'll take the, the back wall here. Stand it up for some reason. And it's going four tiles. One, two, three, four. 
and then on the outside. So that means we gotta improvise. So I'm on the outside there, so yeah, that's exactly what I do. Take this one out and move it over here. And I do have my mover tool and I realize I could have been using that instead. No, that's not gonna work, is it? One, two, three. No, it's not. Hmm. I want to keep it symmetrical. Just for weight distribution, I realize I do have to. I was going to put some large containers on here, too. They were going to go on this side, so maybe. So we'll see how much room we got inside here. I do want to have all the amenities as well. You know, if I had one, one more block, I'd be sticking another one right in there. Uh, I do have a door too. How wide is this door? I guess we're having a back door then. Works for me. I was only going to have one on the front, but that actually works out perfect. Except for the fact that I can't place it in the right spot. But anyways, let me fill this in and I'll bring you back. Okay, there we go. Now, here's the question. Am I actually going to be able to cover the roof with ceiling tiles? It does hang off the back a little bit. But it's not gonna come over the side. I'm looking at this. Actually, you know what I might actually do? I might have this overhang and see how this works. Uh, let's go with the black roof. I am gonna be putting ceiling, uh, solar panels on it anyways. Is that space properly? Of course not. Let's try that again. Oh, that's the wrong block. Okay, so if I do that, one, two, I think that's it. Perfect. All right, you get the idea. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to get some solar panels on here, and I shall return. Okay, I think we're going to do things a little differently here. I'm not actually going to have the water pump, the deuterium generators. Uh, I got 32 solar panels here, generating 8,000 kilowatts. Uh, I'm not going to be using that much power, no way. But if I have that many solar panels, it means it's going to charge a battery pack really fast. And I think what I might do is actually do a huge bank of batteries back here. Just because. Well, it would be nice if they actually added a large battery. Come to think of it. Because you got the small batteries here, which are these ones here. I believe that was an auto save. <laughs> it didn't show up, but it was. I'll make the batteries red. And probably what I'll do is uh, maybe even do a wall in the back here on both sides. Four, five, six. Maybe I'll do six there, and then uh, six sides, 36, 72. Uh, was it 100 a piece? Yes. Then I'll probably do two rows like that. I have to wire them up individually. So let me get this done and I shall return. Okay, I am back. And so is the rain, of course. I decided to go with uh, just 72 batteries because realistically that's a lot of power. I'm not going to need that much. That and I'm running short on supplies. I got to be conservative here. Meanwhile, I'm building a giant recycling center to go scour the planet and pick up parts. Uh, yeah, so a couple other things I want to put on here too is, uh, as you can see on the radar, the uh, hot bar. Let's uh, get a radar going. Uh, hmm, I'll make it a nice beige color. Now, was this was a four, a four by four or a three by three? It's a three by three. Hmm. You know what? Just because. We'll put them up here. Put them right in the corner if I can. Is this a 3x3 three three or is it a 5x5? Five five? What's going on here? I'm a little confused with this. Looks like it's a 4x4. Four four. 
but it doesn't center. It looks like it's a 3x3, three three, to be honest. Anyway, we'll just put them up here. I don't know if I want that color now. Uh, let's go with white, just because there's no white on this build. Place one there, and place one there. You know, be symmetrical. Why not? All right, so we got radars. Uh, as far as flight goes, I think we're gonna go with the old bicycle seat here, just because, just because it's actually a two-block wide thing, and I'll probably put it right about there. And because I need a terminal on here, anyways. Uh, actually, color. I yeah, will leave it black. I'm gonna fill that in. And then I need a terminal, and I'm gonna put the terminal right in front. I guess technically I would need two terminals because it's a one block thing. I'm gonna put a terminal on a switchboard. And the switchboard will be for the air blades. Okay, and now that'll be red. We'll do that red as well. And. Got the radar set up. Now, I was thinking about the container. I think I might actually just put the container right here, just for the sake of it. Uh, would we have, would I have room on the other side for one over here? Not really. But my, my thinking is that the weight of the crane at the edge of the platform will counteract the weight of the container close towards the center. Now, what, do, what color do I want this? No, we'll do a red like shipping containers. And we'll probably do two of them. I'll do one there and put one right there. Leave a little bit of a gap to walk by. Oh, I need supplies. Of course I do. I got them down here. We still got plenty to go. I had to print up a few things for the air blades, but all in all, I should have enough to do this. If not, you know me, I'll grind out the resources, do it off camera. Okay, and then over here is going to be like where all the, the specialty parts are. Mechanical parts. I should have known. Okay, so get this done. But yeah, things like the thrusters and tanks and stuff like that. Because I, I can't take them apart. If I take them apart, I'm not going to be able to put them back together again. And you know what? Those are... Those are rare. They're unique. There's thing. There are things we can't. We can't actually use them, but we can't make them. All right. I was also thinking about lighting too, because I do want to get some sort of lighting going. Maybe I'll get some lights in the containers. I don't know. I do want to get some lights underneath here, though. Uh, but anyways, let's get this area set up. Now I was actually thinking about using conveyors. Oh, conveyors are number three. Using a very sort of like uh, hanging post where I can place stuff. Because I've seen these parts before, what they look like. Like the tank, big and small tank, and the thrusters and stuff like that. So maybe, maybe we'll do a white. And we'll put one here and see how much room we have. You know, we'll space exactly eight. And. That should be good. Yeah, well, I guess I could have moved it a little bit closer. If I go four, though, it's going to be too small. I will just go with that. And because I want to make sure I have room for the containers, too, and then we'll do the same on this side, not where I just placed, but there and there. And you know what? We will do a couple more at the end here. All right, and then it's going to go up. I think we'll go... Pretty sure there's a small tank, so maybe we'll put the T-section here, or the, actually the six-way. Good old number five here. And go up, and get a couple of these on. And do one more, and then I'll put another... There's six way up here. Oh, that's the wrong one. There you go. And I'll just repeat that for all of them, and then I have a place to hang parts. i got room for the big tanks to go on. 
Uh, I can put smaller stuff there, thrusters that was put on the floor, wherever I need be. So let me get this done and we'll continue on. Okay, so I do have everything all set up over here. So we have our little little hanging trees here for, like I said, for the stuff that we can't actually rebuild. And I hope to find a lot of them. I have seen these tanks and they're actually uh, a very unique item. Now, before I get the air blades on here, I think I want to get the crane going. Might be a smart idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up here. Let's get a proper hot bar set up. Uh, let's see what I have here. Oh, not that. <laughs> we won't get into that one. Uh, yes, this will work. I'll probably use that that particular uh, cockpit. So go ahead and place the number four down. And I think just because it's a crane, I'm going to make it yellow. Now, what I want to try to do is I want to try to be able to actually use this crane to drop the the little wrecks like actually on top of the hover pad or the hover jack and turn that one off and turn these ones on and have the, those hold them in place that's the plan does not mean that that's actually going to work that way so we're going to start like that we're going to go up and this is where the key bodies are going to come in really handy now i do want to have a some room uh, of how I'm going to have this set up. I think we're going to go a little bit higher. And this is why I want to build this first before I put the air blades on. You know the air blades do have to be up a certain height. Just to clear this, right? And then I also got to think too of what kind of builds am I going to be bringing up. How big are they going to be? So I think we'll go a couple more blocks. One, two, three, and four. That should be good. It might actually be a little too much. Let's come down two. No, no, famous last words. No, we're gonna stay with that because I have other things I have to do. So, uh, let's see, how is I gonna do this again? Oh yeah, we're gonna go back to number six. That is six, yes it is. So it's gonna be basically a folding arm. I'm not going to bother counting this because I just want to eye it. I want to make sure that when it's fully extended that it can reach all the way over to here. So I think I might have to go a little bit more. It, it'll reach now, but to get an angle, it may not. So we'll go up just a couple more like so. Then we'll put another rotor down here. Now, if you've seen any of my sick day experiments from season one, season one, season two, I can't remember, y you'll sort of recognize what I'm doing here. I was just having more fun with hover pads, <laughs> uh, like I always do. Uh, okay, go back to six. And this one is going to come in like so. Uh, i got to give it some room. That's why I gotta, had to make it a little bit longer. Now, from what I've seen with these, the powered rotors, when they're powered and turned on, they lock. So, in theory, things should be okay. <laughs> Again, a famous last words. Now, I want to have something that drops down to, actually, you know what, this should be okay. Should reach, I think we'll be fine, so... Okay, let's get another rotor, please. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically have two lines like this. Or arms, I'll say. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to be all controlled by hotkeys where they'll all move in unison, basically accordion down, accordion up, and at the bottom. It's going to be a hover jack just dangling there. And the hover jack is going to be the magnet. Like we experimented with over at the, the failed pinball table attempt to build site. Now, this doesn't have to be super long because, you know, we don't have to go that 
far down as long as I get below the platform. So I think I'm going to put one more on here. Just because not one of those. Uh, yeah, one of those. Uh, I also want to try to make sure, too, that's got enough room to swing by without hitting this. Which is always good. That's uh, in the uh, folded position, of course. Once it's extended, it's not going to matter. Oh my god, I'm out of materials. And it's raining, but you get the idea. I'll bring you back when I got something. I'm having one of those, is this a smart idea moments. I do notice that this rotor's a little pulled out. We'll see how it goes. What I've done is I've put some stops here, so uh, that way when you're lifting it up, it stops it from going any further than this. Oh, there's an autosave. This could be worse. Uh, I was going to put it on the top, but then I realized I wasn't going to have room over here, so I put it on the bottom. And as you can see, by the line there and the line here, that's not actually connected. That and texture's off. And uh, of course, I use center and mass to make sure when I'm placing the block that it goes on this grid and not this grid. But yeah, so that's how it's going to be. This rotor here is not going to be powered. It's actually going to be left f free hanging, so then that way uh gravity will keep this always pointing down so that is that i uh, haven't done a test run on this yet we will get to that shortly but now it's time to get some air blades on here now because this thing does have to move i'm probably gonna have to put the supports of the air blades in the corners I'm thinking i was looking at the power situation too uh the larger air blades use 500 yeah it's a little more than i thought so, I was thinking I might have to, oh, there's actually an update, oh, what's that, oh, that was just a hot fix they released to the stable branch, uh, well, yeah, I have 7200, which means I can only do 14 air blades right now, uh, I got the sol solar panels to charge 8000. But I can always, put, I got plenty of room, I can get more solar panels on. And, of course, as I say, we can only get the deuterium generator on, which means I have to add the miner to it. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. Uh, but for testing purposes, we'll see if we can lift this thing off of the air, eight large air blades and see how that goes. Alright, hit the right key so I can get out. And basically it's going to be two here, two over there. Uh, I do believe they were 13 blocks. Uh, let's see here, what should I do? I want to actually use a conveyor just because I like having a roundish texture. There we go, that's the wrong one. There we go. Now, color-wise... What would be an ideal color? I'll go black and we'll do the air blades, or brown and do the air blades black. Now I could almost put it here. So I don't want it too high, right? Then maybe what I'll do, I'll go with the other, con other conveyors in. If I can find the right button, like so, and then. Yeah, one more. Even that seems a little too high. And we'll do it this way then. I'll put one of these on top. Is it four and eight or is it six and eight? Uh, okay, that makes sense. I want to try to avoid using as many. Uh, I want to try to avoid using a lot of small conveyor sections, but we'll just do it this way then. I will take take another four on top, and then we'll put. Yeah, we'll do two. I just want to make sure it's got its room because it's gonna need two blocks below the connection point to be there, and then one two before there so we don't have to worry about clipping perfect okay and then a sticky old five on there and i think i'm just going to go with conveyors on this 
Uh, now what I need to do is I, want, I need to get four of them in basically the corners. I figure out how I'm going to do this now. Uh, what I might end up doing is I'll do this off camera so you don't have to watch me think about it. Okay, so I went ahead and decided to get everything done uh, just because it was getting long in the video and uh, there's still a lot to do. So this is what I, got. I decided to go with 12 air blades. I'm hoping this is going to be enough. We're about 215 tons right now. Uh, I had to put some counterweight on that end because the center of mass is over on this side a little bit because of the containers. It's moved over to about here, but it should be okay because once we start using the crane, extending it out, it's going to start pulling it down anyways. Uh, everything is wired and good to go. I added uh, another 16 solar panels. I think we're generating... How many do we have? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 48 solar panels. We're generating 24 kilowatts. 24 kilowatts. I added now 36 batteries back here, leaving 11 kilowatts storage, and we're actually charging. Are we? Yeah, we are charging. It's only because it's still morning right now, so it is more or less self-sufficient. Uh, the only thing left to do is get the, this thing set up. As you can see, I put a little cockpit on there. Uh, I tethered a couple of switchboards just to make sure it reaches all the way down to the bottom. And everything is powered, ready to go. Uh, I will have to leave all these powered. If I turn the power off, they will drop down. Uh, they don't hold their position, basically. So that's all we've got left to do. So, uh, so let us begin. Oh, I actually didn't power that one down there either. And take you and connect you to that. Okay. All right. Now let's turn everything on and lock, unlock them. Yes. And that way they'll stay in position. And I'm going to make a save here just in case. Okay. I even made my backup save too. So we are good. So uh, turn power on. Lock it. Make sure to turn power on first. Uh, this one here doesn't actually need power. I don't know why I even connected that. That one we just unlock. And that one just hangs free. Uh, turn that one on. Lock that. Turn that up on unlock that whoa uh, auto save scares me some days okay and everything's good so now all i have to do is just configure these one by one and get an idea where i'm going from there uh so we're going to go ahead and lock this uh probably adjust the speed a little bit and this way i can just figure out what i'm at what i'm going to be doing uh, i'm going to be using the number pad for all my key bindings because that's a key we don't actually use Alright, so now I go to this very long list of things here. Rotors. Now, the one that is locked. Oh, I can't rename this. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, Planter. Okay, awesome. So this is going to be four and six. I'm hoping this is going to be the right way. There is absolutely, as far as I know, there's no way to tell which way you're going to be going. And I'm just going to be using manual rotation, not auto rotation, because that is stupid. Sorry, let's see what this does. And it works. Good. Sketchy, but it works. Okay, next. Actually, I want to see if there's a, a rename in this menu here. There is. Perfect. All right, let's do it this way then. Go here, rename. Makes it so much easier when you actually rename what you're looking at instead of having to figure it out as you go. Okay, and then this will be... I'm just going to rename these as numbers. So that'll be... Let's see. How many do I have? Uh... Sorry about that. Unknown call coming in. Alright, so one, two, three. So I'll need this one three then. Three. Two. And I'm doing it this way because I don't actually know which way it's going to go when I push left or right. Okay, and then we rename this. If I can, I can. This will be magnet. Okay. 
so now I can hop back in here and I can actually work on things as I go. So let us bring it out here. I did turn, uh, I did lock that, unlock that rotor, right? Okay. Just want to make sure, because I know these things are pretty tough. I wonder if I can actually see it from here. No, I can't. No, that's fine. I'm just moving it out here so I can start dropping down. Okay, so now let's go to the extension. Extension, we'll do key bind this. Uh, this will be this will be seven and nine, I guess. We'll do seven. I might have to change this later. Depending on how it works. Okay, extension. Don't have to worry about locking it because now we know where it is. Let's uh, increase the speed on that. Yeah. Oh. I guess I'm getting used to lag in this game again. All right. Now let's see how we do. So far, so good. Haven't broken the game yet. I'm starting to wonder now. I may have to end up taking that wall out. I don't think this is going to be high enough. But we'll figure it out as we go. Alright, so that is our extension. So now we go back into the terminal. Let me just check something here. Nothing. And now to figure out which one is which here. Uh, I'm going to set these all to medium. I had three at the top. So this is going to be two and eight because up and down, right? So I want down to be two and up to be eight. Okay, now let's see what this what happens here. Okay. Uh, what? It's not going up. It's not going up. I didn't keep buying them twice, did I? Two and eight. Try something actually. This is troubleshooting with BC. Okay, I want to see if this will actually go up. Does it not have enough power? Okay, this might be a little finicky by the looks of it. Needs more power. Oh, well, this will be fun. <laughs> well, you get the idea. I'm gonna configure the last two rotors, and then we'll see if it breaks the game or not. Okay, so I got everything all done. I did have to do a little bit of rekey binding on it. Uh, basically, we're not gonna be using the number pad like I thought. Uh, the number pad is still gonna be for the planetary and the extension. So, um, what was it? Yeah, nine and seven are still gonna rotate it out back and forth and then notice there's some issues with these things uh, which is nothing new they're still safer than the hinges that's for sure but as far as key bindings go uh, if I can get a good view there oh that's not what the button I wanted Y turns on the magnet uh, I had to re do the sections independently because it was getting confused but basically one and two are the first extension. I have to have it on a high speed because it's slow. You know what, maybe for uh, the sake of my save file, I'll turn them down to medium. It's a little slow, but it's a crane, what do you expect? But yeah, so one goes down on the first one, two's not bringing it up. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it that way then. Fine controls, very fine controls. All right, so that's one. Uh, one and two is the first, the, the last extension. Three and four is the second one. 
and five and six are the, the final one there. And there we go. Now the only thing is, is it's actually going to be able to lift something. As soon as that auto saves out of the way, magnet is off. Uh, let's test this out first. Uh, bring, we'll go bring the stunt flyer over, just because. And we'll see if I'll one if I'll grab it and two if it'll actually lift it because. I haven't tested this at all. I have no idea if this mechanic even works or not. I do know what my flyer does. Yeah, it's sort of a vision of what I look like, sort of. I was thinking more of like a junkyard with uh, a shed and stuff. All right, let's just drop it right down here. That's not what I want to do. Get out of here. Power is off. Let's see if this crane will actually lift it. All right, so uh, we gotta extend out a little bit, and then I think if we lower these two, yes, very touchy. Oh, let's uh, let's go this way. Okay, I should actually, you know what? I'm gonna add a stop. Stop rotation on that rot rotor just to stop the swing. Uh, hmm. I don't think P is actually used. We'll do that. Oh, uh, that's not what I want. I want that lock, but I don't think we have that in there. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't. That's fine. I'll just do it the hard way. And let's bring it over a little bit. I know I'm getting a little touchy with this, but whatever. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello, physics. Been a while since I've seen you. Okay, what have we learned today? Not to do stupid things like this. And there we go, I broke the game. I tell you, physics, you're no match for me. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to reload my save file here. Oh, came back. Oh, took out a tree too. Oh my god, this thing's going crazy. I have no idea where it is. I do know though, my platform moved. Okay, that's where my save file is. Perfect time for an autosave. Uh, I should have everything already configured. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, all I'm going to say, use at your own risk. <laughs> this is no joke. <laughs> but it was an idea. Oh, let's bring it back this way. and Maybe the next Unity... Hot fix will, will fix that. I know realistically you lock the joints, but once it starts freaking out like that, I think it had to do with the the fact that I was lifting something that was swinging, the rotor was swinging, and yeah. Anyway, let's see if we can actually get this thing to fly. If it flies, that's a good thing. Don't expect it to. Well, let's find out. This is why you always make backup saves, especially when you start doing st stupid stuff like that. My ground must be rubber. I know we joke about it all the time, but what can you do? You can't get mad about it. It's just a game. Just enjoy it, have some fun, and it lifts off the ground. What do you know? Seriously, back at me though. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's, uh, let's configure this. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Let's get some flight on here. I honestly don't know about that thing. It's going to stay there anyways because it's like it's an interesting idea. What I could do. It was an idea originally I was thinking about was you putting a claw on there. I wonder if we should do that. But anyways, uh, let's get build vision up, get our 
airblades going. Directional. Directional. Do do do. I'm sure I could do this with the, the terminal quicker, but I like doing things while I'm actually looking. I'm so I get a visual representation of what I'm doing. Oh, see what I mean? Okay. And steering. Uh, want that way. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think it might be a little difficult to steer this thing now. Okay, do that. And double up on the back. Let's check the steering capability of this thing. Oh, there we go. I thought I was going to hit the power button. Let's turn that lag off. Oh, it works. Now I'll just do something about that claw, but that's the thing, it's always starting to get a little high. Hmm. Well, like I said, I could take the wall out. Let me see if we can throw something together quickly, like something similar to that thing down there, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I am back. Uh, I got the claw set up, and it seems to be doing okay. Uh, thing's still flying, that's for sure. So I thought I'd bring one of these miners over, and we'll try this as a... Uh, Test to pick it up. Are we having power problems? Oh, what happened here? I guess we have to go to deuter deuterium then. No choice. Clearly, this thing's not powering fast enough. All right, big old red generators in the front here. Uh, if I can fit them in here somewhere. Uh, hmm. Oh, I need the weight on this side. I'm gonna put them right over here. Actually, could use the weight the front a little more. I'm gonna just put one. Sure. Okay, and let's hook you up to the grid. I got a switchboard there. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's a problem with these things is when they lose power, they drop down. So let's see if we can bring everything back up. Okay, and four, and then one. Oh, there we go, the other way. Okay, now my claw's all kind of messed up. And I think what I can do is just turn them off. I always double click because I don't see it right away. See, until they freeze. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get out and manually lock them. Lock them into position. That's going to be ideal. Sure. There and one more. So now I can go back to the terminal and repower everything. And it should be set. And I just gotta make sure I keep deuterium on me. I'll probably end up filling that generator completely full. Alright, so the claws are 8 and 2. As soon as I turn them back on, that is. Wait for the leg, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, I locked them, that's right. Alright, so there we go. We have a working claw. Now let's see if we can actually make use of this. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to reach that thing, but we're going to find out. Okay, we're going to go out, and then we're going to extend ye boom. And I'm starting to realize now that maybe I should add another extension, because the pivot point is going to be... You know what I mean? Until... Wow, well, we gotta go down anyways. Oh, I forgot that unlock that one rotor. And also the airblades don't actually have names, they're just numbers. Okay, and it's this one here. Okay. Helps if I hit the right button. I 
Lance who was actually pushing the, the ship. Okay, well, it's clearly we're not high enough. That's fine, because you know why? Because we can actually fly it from here. And I really should add some strafing. But hey, this is a field test, right? We had some power issues we had to deal with. We deal with those. Now we're just going to test our claw mechanic here. If we break in, broken the game once, I wouldn't be surprised if it would happen again. And this is where strafing would really come in handy on this thing. And also better weather forecasting because, uh, yeah, it's getting cloudy. And rainy. Uh, let me sleep the night away. Did I say the night? I meant the rain. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, clearly, more thought could have been put missing. But the fact of the matter is, it works. Oh, I thought the claw was stuck. Alright, so now I should be able to for a little bit, I'll lower the claw down gently that was not gently I have to have it on a high speed in, a high speed because it needs the power to come back up zoom out a little more so we can actually see what we're doing here alright, and we are almost there it's a bit excessive and uh Mind-numbingly mind painful to watch, I'm sure, but it's working. Uh, let me see here. Just a matter of moving the right arm section at the right spot. Oh, not that hard. Let's just grab and see what happens. Just like all my builds. Uh, <laughs> it's going to take practice to actually use it. I don't know. Yeah, let's use the other one here. There we go. We'll bring two up. Move three forward. Back down with one. And let's see if we can actually grab it. No, we can't. I'm stuck on something. Am I? I think we hooked it. Let's see if we can lift it up. No, we did not hook it. I think I just hit my stop recording button. Yeah, these things are all out of whack because I didn't put a stop on it. Well, let's give it one more step and then I'm going to call this because i got to get this video uploaded. Alright, grab please. I think I got it. No, maybe not. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to grab things. Just because of the way this is designed. Uh, let's give it one more shot. Let's see if we can move over. Uh, the claws are definitely going to need to stop. So they don't continue rotating like that. Let's see if I can grab the front end of this thing, maybe. It's like a almost reminds me of like a Velociraptor claw or, you know, foot or whatever it's got the talons on it yeah I don't think it's going to be able to grab that I can definitely work on these claws but I think we're going to call this one here uh, like I said it's getting late i got to get this video recorded that almost reset the claws, but yeah, there we go. There's uh, the the BCP, the, the base, the building construct platform, and I'm going to be using this thing to venture the globe, gathering up wrecks and salvaging parts to build bigger builds. But anyways, I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.